What's going on YouTube? Uh, Mike here with Back Road Explorers. Uh, out here doing a little ride here on the Riker. Uh, just like the title says, why am I riding this Riker? Well, most of y'all know that if you've seen any of my past videos that I ride a 2009 Heritage Harley Softail. Um, I'll give you the story on this bike while we bought this last year. Uh, we'll go back two years ago. Uh, my wife, she came to me one day. She said, I want to ride my own bike. Uh, she's seen a lot of women riders out there. And uh, we had a friend that uh, his wife rode on her own. She had a, a Harley trike. And it kind of inspired her to want to do it herself. <clears throat> so it wasn't too long after she asked me that, uh, my friend Bryce, he called me, he said, uh, Victor and his wife want to sell her trike. She wants to get another trike. She wanted to get uh, one of the free freewheeler Harleys, uh, which those are really really nice. And what what she had was a a 2006. Uh, it was a Dyna Low with a trike conversion kit on it. Uh, really nice bike. Uh, so I called Victor up, and uh, he said I'll give you a good deal on it since we're friends and uh, he said do you think uh, Lori will be able to ride that bike I said well maybe and uh, so I called him I told him I said well we want to buy this bike and uh, he gave me a really good price on it. Met him halfway. Rode to Bowling Green, Kentucky. He had to come all the way from uh, Georgia. I believe he lives on the Georgia-Tennessee border, but he lives on the Georgia side. So he pulled the truck down there on a trailer on uh, Memorial Day. Or Memorial Weekend and uh, this was 2018 and I'll show you a picture of it here uh, rode it home that that day back to Indiana wasn't too long after that she had her permit and we started trying to train her on it and she had trouble with the clutch. Uh, she has arthritis, so she, I didn't think of that when we was buying it. Uh, I thought it'd be a little bit easier for her to pull in the clutch. And also the, the trike that she had, it didn't have a reverse in it. And if she got in a tight spot, uh, she might be able to tippy-toe it out, but she couldn't hardly budge the bike. And it turned out the bike was just too much for her to handle. Uh, and it was a really nice bike, I tell you. I, I almost thought about keeping it and taking the truck kit off of it and uh, riding it myself. But I would have had to done a lot to it to be able to ride it as tall as I am because it, it had mid controls on it. And uh, I would have had to put forward controls on it, which wouldn't have been too bad. But I really didn't need a second two-wheel motorcycle. So, I started thinking this is like a year later in 2019, or early 2019. Uh, me, and, me and my daughter, we went to, went on a, she went on a trip with me. My wife couldn't go. Uh, she had to work. Uh, we took a trip down to the Smokies on my motorcycle. And, uh the next weekend she had we had signed her up for a K&M course 
up in Columbus, Indiana. I thought maybe this K&M course would help her with everything she needs to learn. And uh, I thought we could do the rest with uh, this Harley trike that we had bought. I thought for sure I could teach her how to how to ride that thing with uh, the clutch and everything. But uh, it just turned out it was just too much for her. So we come back that next weekend and she was supposed to take that that course on a Saturday and she calls me said she had a panic attack she couldn't do it and uh, I told her okay well we'll just have to figure something else out and I started thinking that weekend what could I do you know to, to help her be able to ride on her own and uh, so I, that Monday I went back to work and I started thinking I started talking to this one guy I know that uh, it, it delivered to one of the stores that I delivered to and uh, he said he's been looking at these K&M Rikers. I said, well, I think I know what you're talking about. It's kind of like a spider. I said, he said, yeah, it's like a spider, but it's more like a stripped down uh, version of it. And uh, I said, it's got no, uh, it's got no clutch. It's got no, no shifting gears or nothing. And he said, you just turn the throttle and go. So that week, that got me to thinking, well, maybe I'll trade this uh, Harley in for a Riker. And I thought, well, I'm going to go down to the dealership and uh, check one out. So I went down there and I took the truck with me and uh, took it on a test ride. Really liked it. I thought, well, sure enough, he can ride this thing. And uh, I said, it's easy, you just twist the throttle, it's got one brake, easy to ride. Uh, I told her, I said, get your permit again, because our permit had expired. They only last one year. And uh, she went and got her permit again. We started training her on this in 2019. And uh, she rode it back and forth from work and rode it around town. And... Uh, I just don't think she had the desire to ride it. I don't know. But uh, I think she was still intimidated by it. She couldn't go very fast on it. I said, well, all that'll come, you know. Once you get used to it, you'll, you'll start going a little faster on it. And uh, we started out on a ride one day, me, Bryce, and her, and I followed her, and I had her uh Senna on her her helmet and one of mine and she kind of had a had a panic attack said so she couldn't do it and uh, I guess she might it might have thought about some of the roads that we was going to go on and and uh, she said well I just can't do it you know I said fine uh, just take take it back and uh, we'll go on the ride together we'll just put the the Riker up so we put it up and she never rode it again. <clears throat> so this this year in 2020, you know, I had that uh, nut to replace up there on that recall. I took it to the Can-Am dealership, rode it down there and had that done. And I thought to myself, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this bike up. It's not gonna go to waste started seeing all these modifications online for it and a year before that when these first came out you couldn't find anything any aftermarket stuff for them or anything so I started seeing all this aftermarket stuff online I thought well I'm gonna buy this and next thing you know it I've bought two thousand dollars worth of stuff for this thing and uh, so I got her to looking at it and I got her starting to thinking about it again and I told her, I said, I said, do you want me to sign you up for that K&M course again? And so later on that day, she said, yes, I want to try that again. 
I said, but I want to I want to do more training on that that Riker before I do the school at the end of September. I said, cool. So we'll do that. And uh, so that's the story about the Riker. Uh, at the end of September of this year, 2020. Hopefully she'll get her license this time. You know, like I said, I've done a lot of modifications to this bike. It's a great little bike. Um, stay tuned the next few weeks. I'll show you the training I'm going to be doing with her. Uh, things we're going to prepare for this uh, two-day course. Uh, if anybody's interested, you see this video and that story's inspired you, just go to the k and website and uh, you'll see Learn to Ride, I believe it is. And you can go to that and there's a... Uh, you put in your zip code or something like that, it'll tell you who's teaching you to ride. And there should be some kind of a code on there you can use to get $50 off of that. It's like $99. Uh, but you get fit, you can get 50 bucks off of that if you can use this code that, that I've seen on this website. And uh, it, and the two-day course is just 50 bucks. And you get your permit and teach you teach you everything you need to know about these bikes that whole weekend and by the time you leave there you've got your they've signed off on your permit to go get your endorsement to, to get these bikes and, and then you can, if you're really interested you can go go and uh, pick one of these bikes up for yourself uh, they're great bikes anybody can ride one of these if you put your mind to it it's nothing to be scared of uh, if you like this video, hit like. That kind of lets YouTube know that you're watching my stuff. And and please subscribe because I'm going to try to have more content like this. And have install videos, uh, tips and tricks. Uh, going to be doing quite a bit. I didn't know I was going to get stuck here behind this train today. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, like I said, please subscribe. Keep the rubber side down, guys. And peace.